my name is Alyssa. And I'm Emily. And you're listening to Slash and Slay, a horror podcast. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, wait, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Happy Monday. Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. My nephew had a birthday party. How old? 11. Yes. That's crazy. I know. It is. It's insane. How do you feel? I feel old every single year. Every single year he, because he's my oldest nephew. So every single year I get older and he gets older. That reminds me of Landslide. You know that song? <sighs> oh, wait. What? I'm singing Riptide. <laughs> I've been afraid. Of ch- I don't know. I was trying to merge those. Yes. I'm the talking about. Sad. That song? Mm-hmm. Now I did see Riptide performed live once. Did you? We have a special bond with Riptide. Oh yeah. <laughs> when it's when Ellis and I first it's met and we were doing theater together, <laughs> we used to before shows bring our ukuleles and then like everybody would gather around and we just we like play Riptide and sing Riptide and people would harmonize. Yeah, and they'd be like, "We're so cool." <laughs> And we'd be like, oh my gosh, I love. Like, is anyone have any? We'd requests? literally like get there hours early, yes, to sit there and play and sing. It's not like that honestly, cringy, but honestly, that's it was kind of, really fun. That's kind of slay. <laughs> it's I kind of a it was move. Really fun. Yeah, we'd be like, okay, yeah, let's. We bring were our actually, ukuleles. we actually were cool. I retract everything. I, I just could said. not like. I think I would have a hard time playing the ukulele right now because I haven't done it in so long. I haven't done it in so long either. I can. I don't remember hardly any chords. I need to learn the toxic gossip trait. On the yes, ukulele. we knew. <laughs> We need to learn that. Yeah. But yeah, we used to do that. Um, and sing Riptide. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking of Landslide. Yes, which is a totally different song. By Fleetwood Mac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. Birthday party. What else did you do? I got my wedding dress fitted and uh, tailored and altered. That's nice. Is it perfect? Fit like a glove? It's perfect. It's like a glove. So... How Almost exciting. there. Almost there. I know. I have no idea what I'm going to wear to your wedding. Not an inkling. Not well, a clue. You have 12 days. <laughs> Last time I checked, it was 16, but it's not. It's 12 it's now. It's 12. <laughs> it, it, every single day goes by fast. I'm just going to show honestly. up naked, I think. Okay. Why not? Oopsies. Be the talk of the town. I would, I would definitely steal the, the uh You'd steal my limelight, but whatever. It's, it's fine. fine. I'm not um, a bridezilla. No, you're not. You'd be like, oh, hey, Emily. Okay. Uh, you can do that. <laughs> but okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Saturday, you probably would be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'd just be very passive. Probably. Um, what else did you do this weekend? That's all? That's all. Wasn't, it wasn't exciting. What did you do? Mm, wait. Saturday, I went to help my aunt. I cleaned her house. Nice. And then we caught up with an old friend. We went, gr- we grilled, which was Ooh. nice. I got eaten alive by mosquitoes, but it was fine. It's pretty bad. I ate a lot of vegan hot dogs this week. Really? Uh huh. Just for the heck of it, or no? Because like we were oh. grilling. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we grilled on Saturday, and then on Sunday I went to church, and then I had to work for a couple hours, so I just worked at um, the coffee shop, and then we grilled some more, and I swam. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I even Sounds went out on the dock, relaxing. which was a little scary, but it was fine. I want to go. Oh, I want to go to a, like a lake and just sit. I want to go to a beach, but well, beaches we can do are too both far of away. Those. It's only four hours to Galveston. That's true. It's not too bad, but still, it's not the best beach. Mm. Crystal Beach, a little better. Yeah, but no. Maybe we should just do that. I was talking to my friend. Like, what if we just leave at six a.m.? Mm-hmm. We get there by ten. You sit on the beach all day, then you leave at like six at night, and you're back. It's not bad. It'd be that very tiring. But to me. I would not want to be the driver for that. You never drive. I don't. <laughs> you're right. Just you're be right. Passenger I, princess. I am passenger yeah. princess. Yeah. So I'll drive, okay. and I'll be like falling asleep. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, that'll be fun. But then, yeah, Sunday I went to the lake, and that was it. And then had crazy work week, but I'm so happy to be here now. Yes. It's our time to unwind. Yeah. I'm just going to put my feet up and mm-hmm. relax yeah. a little bit. Because we're talking about 
Stephen King. Finally, we're Such, finally doing he's it. He's so relaxing to I'm talk so, about. Actually, he's like my comfort. He's your comfort man? Yeah. We, we were actually watching Insomnia, Christopher Nolan, last night. Um, and there's an author in it. And he writes like murder novels. So people are like, oh my gosh, maybe he's the murderer because he writes murder novels. And um, the, the detectives were like going through the girl's room Mm -hmm. and was like oh my gosh he has like a lot of books by this author like hmm we need to check him out Mm -hmm. he's a local author whatever and I was like if they did that to me (laughs) and like looked do you think they'd like be like oh Stephen King like definitely killed like yeah or like maybe somebody connected and they like one of the detectives was like okay read this book and see if there's any clues in it and I was like, if they had to do that for me, right. they'd have to have a whole team like going. Right. And are they going to go question Stephen King just because I read a bunch, have like a bunch of his books? Yeah. But then my boyfriend was like, what if Stephen King killed you? And I'd be like, <gasps> honored. Like, Thank you. <laughs> right. It's just worth it. Yeah. I'd be, like, I'd be in him one of that. his next novels yes, probably. I'd be very appreciative. Dead woman with tits that point up to the sky or something. And they ache. Yes. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> They're always They're aching. Always aching. I don't know <laughs> what kind of. <laughs> They're always looking somewhere. They're always headlights somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get to that. <laughs> we um, will get to Stephen King. But um, do you have any um, books or movies that you've been reading? A slash and a slayer. Yeah. Slash and or a slayer. Do you have a slasher or a slayer. Slash slayer. Slash slayer. Slash or slay. Um, I just recently read two new releases. Mm-hmm. I read Maeve Fly. Maeve Fly by C.J. Lead, who is a new author, Which new I've horror. Heard of? You've heard Maeve Lead. Fly? Well, I have heard of that book, but I feel like C. I've C. heard of C.J. Lead. Maybe she's done something else. Unless I'm thinking of some other C.J. I think there's a, maybe another C.J. I think there is another C.J. C.J. Lead is new author, and mm-hmm. um, Maeve Fly was pretty rough to get through, as in like very gruesome, Horror. yeah, graphic. Um, a lot of trigger warning for mm. like sexual abuse, Ooh. but it was very like American Psycho, but a girl set in LA and modern day. modern day. And she also works at Disney World as Elsa. That's that's interesting. It was very I don't interesting. Think I've ever heard any yeah character? Set I like know. That. Yeah, she was a very interesting. Com- she was way more like you had way more empathy for her than you do for like Patrick Bateman, obviously right, like right. him. You're like, be for real. Like, but she's like, <laughs> you have no excuse. Yeah. She, she's genuinely like, I know why I'm like this and I feel this and blah, blah, blah. Like you Pearl. know? Yes. Very much like Pearl. I did. I did write a review for this on macabre daily and mm-hmm. I did compare her to Pearl. Um, so you're right. Um, and then Thank I you. also read a book that comes out today. Woo. By our favorite Happy book birthday. Happy pub day to um, Paul Tremblay, fan of the pod. No, he's, fan, <laughs> he's a fan of the pod. Friend of the pod always. Um, and it's that that's the short story collection, The Beast You Are, which I got an advanced reader copy mm-hmm. of and I read it. I highly recommend you go out right now. Go buy it. Um, I have it as well. And I have not read it. It's a, you haven't been in your horror era right now. I haven't. I, I'm, I'm getting back there. Okay. And I'll, and I'll talk about that in a second. I think you should because um, it's very much like it was so interesting how every single every single essay seemed like it was written by a completely different person. Not mm-hmm. even necessarily a different author, but it was like he very much like adapted his writing style to still somehow fit his writing style, but also worked for that character and everything Mm -hmm. like there was from the point of view of a child you could tell it was still you know it was more juvenile yeah um and then also did you ever read head fool's ghost i didn't i never i started it okay but they have like continued content from that (coughs) which was interesting do you know how it was like written by written in like blog form sometimes yes yeah so they had continuations of that blog in one of the stories and then one Mm -hmm. of them was called like and i i don't really know if it was part of cabin at the end of the world universe Mm -hmm. but it had like the blog at the end of the world was like a short story it was very like twilight zone e yeah yes it was very twilight Mm zone e not very like super graphic or gruesome um twilight zone ray bradbury vibes black mirror for sure so a lot of sci-fi ish Mm -hmm. elements a lot of it was very ambiguous so you didn't know like oh is this horror is it really which is kind of he kind of does. Yeah, he does like do with that. Cabinet at the end of the world. Yeah. And then um the final novella is The Beast You Are. 
And it was so interesting because it was kind of written like poetry some mm-hmm. places. And everybody is an animal, but they're like personified. Okay. So they're like animals walking around. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And it's very like dystopian. And it's really like very... Kind of like the farm. Yeah, kind of like that. And then it also is um, like very political, which was really mm-hmm. interesting too. Um, and I've very much enjoyed both of those. Well, good. So I'll have to I highly recommend. Get in, get into it. And I don't think I've watched any movies. Well, I watched movies. I watched a movie called Eden Lake. I actually saw some girl on TikTok was like giving movies that she cried in, like horror movies that she cried in. I was like, I feel like crying today. So I watched Eden Lake. It stars Michael Fassbender and Kelly. She's from Yellowstone. She's like the main girl from Yellowstone. She's back okay. from Yellowstone. Um, but it's about this couple who goes to a lake and um it's like this kind of back backwoods hidden lake. It's in England or whatever. And there's this like group of teenagers who start harassing them and it leads they're basically just this, like psychotic teenagers that start killing them. Or like a trying to kill them. Funny games S. A little bit, but more like just straightforward. Like more like We're gonna kill you. Yeah. Okay. But it was I didn't make me cry. But it was I mean, it kept me on the edge of my seat, I will say. My while well, I was on my bed. And I wasn't on the edge. But it kept like me this. it kept my rapt attention. Okay. So I'd recommend it. Slay? It was it was free. Roku. Oh. Roku channel. Is it new? No. Mm-mm. Okay. I'd say it's like 10 years old, 10, 12, something like that. Okay. Um, and then I s- tried to watch Infinity Pool. I started it. I didn't get very far into it. We have an Infinity Pool stand in the house. <laughs> we do. Uh, sorry, I didn't get into it. It was a very aggressive jerking off scene in the beginning. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't know. Why is this happening? <laughs> I just, I just didn't. I don't know. It's not your cup of tea. It wasn't my cup of tea. You like a very specific horror I do. genre. And that is a, I think, you know, um, sex and horror have, mm-hmm. uh, have to be married in for a lot of, yeah, I a lot of horror, it just but it doesn't do it for, for you. And it takes a lot for it to do it for me. Cause usually I'm like, okay, well I, I get it. It's good. Like it makes you feel uncomfortable, which horror should, but I don't know. It's. It's just not something that I necessarily gravitate towards. It's not something I don't ever enjoy. When I do see it, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, I get it. It's, mm-hmm. it's an. I can I can get it, but I don't. It's not have your. To watch it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not your favorite kind yeah. of horror. Mm-hmm. It is definitely a subsection that I do like. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it more in like the '80s though, when it was like oh, funny yeah. and you're like, haha, right. they're naked, like mm-hmm. silly, but it was like. It- uh, Jason's gonna kill you because you're, you're having naked. Sex. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So, anyways, I didn't finish it, so I don't know what happens. She slays and it. I can't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I slay it. I slay the half I watched. Um. And then I am getting back into my horror reading era, and I'm started. I started reading a book called The White Road by Sarah Lotz. It's about this guy, kind of like this guy. And his friend, they're like podcasters, horror pod. They're like horror podcasters. They have a horror <laughs> website. Ah, are you getting and like taking trying, notes? Yes. <laughs> and they're <laughs> trying to like get this footage of like dead bodies that we will not. We be will doing not be that, doing that. No. So the one of the guys climbs down into a cave um, with this like random stranger he met, and he has ends up having this like horrible <laughs> experience. Won't be doing that either. That makes him decide to go for whatever reason, to go try to climb Mount Everest to film the bodies up there. And the there's some like, mm-hmm. okay, one of them. Yeah. Okay. And there, there's like this underlying like malevolent s- spirits or like energy that's like surrounding everything. So it's, it's actually really good so far. Okay, I think I would really like that because I think you would. It's weird. Really, it's really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> it's really weird, but like Everest is like one of my favorite things. Like mm-hmm. I know that's weird to be like I love Everest, but oh, like no, I, I really I get do. It. I get it. I think it like one of my favorite books of all time is 
Into Thin Air Mm -hmm. by John Krakauer. And they made that movie Everest based off of it. And it's like so horrifying. And my toxic trait is like, yeah, give me a year and I could like (laughs) climb Everest. No ox. I I know. No O2 needed. Me kind of reading it, I'm like, easy. Would I ever do that? Base camp is higher than Pikes Peak. (laughs) Easy. I got this. The Sherpas go up and down. You know, I think it was this year, the Sherpa beat the record for the most amount of times going up and down mm-hmm. to Pikes Peak and it was 21 times. Oh, sorry, Everest. I was like, Pikes Peak. <laughs> That's easy. No, not really. Um, 21 times. Dang. Isn't that insane? That is. Like, that is crazy. Going up Everest 21 times. But, okay, well, I'll borrow that one after you. Yeah, well, Are you reading on your phone? I'm reading on my phone. Okay, well then, so. I'll borrow your phone for like a, few, a week. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> after. But I'll let you know if it okay. turns out to be readable i really haven't read that many um horror books written by women so mm-hmm. i think i I've read a am lot. lacking i'm really lacking you are i need some <laughs> you need you need help i need pov from you need women you need women not in describing your life. boobies all the time <laughs> <laughs> um like somebody does that we're about to speak about mm-hmm. um but yeah you ready to dive into stephen king yeah let's dive into the world of stephen king we're not gonna there, I will never, like, I've kind of accepted in my lifetime, I will not ever be able to read everything that he's written because I just will not, no. I'm sorry, like, I have every intention of reading the Gunslinger mm-hmm. series, but power. I just don't think I can. It is yeah. so long. Mm-hmm. And there's, I know so many people love it. There's just some stuff, and I'll talk about a little, there's just some stuff, like, I tried to start reading, and I just, it just didn't, it didn't you also, capture me. I think have to be in the mood for steve you have to be in the mood yeah you have to be ready to just read (laughs) like really read and you have to be really think about yes think about what the words are saying to you because he word vomits at you Mm -hmm. constantly and so you have to be like is this pertinent (laughs) do i need to be can i discard this Yeah. yeah and if you're not like completely wrapped then it's not gonna work like one book that I did not finish that I really did enjoy, like the story was super interesting, mm-hmm. was Firestarter. I never oh. finished it mm-hmm. because I just, I was reading it at work. And if I got interrupted, I'd be like, I have no <laughs> clue what, <laughs> what just, happened. just happened. Yeah. So it just didn't work. Like I was just not in the right headspace, not in the right thing. And I have found that doing Stephen King audiobooks is mm-hmm. really good. Usually there's a lot of really good readers yeah. that do it. Like I'll talk about one that I really, really like. Um, and so I do that a lot of Stephen King audiobooks if I'm really in the mood for Stephen King, but I don't have the attention to yeah. sit with that. I honestly have not read one of his books in a long time. Um, haven't read any of his new stuff. Like I want to say the last four, five, six years. I haven't read any of it. I have read... I will get into all the ones I've read, but I have read recent ones, so I can be, yeah, the. I've read a lot. Of, I've read a lot of the old, old ones. Mm-hmm. So. I've tried. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your like introduction to Stephen King? I know your dad is an avid reader. Yeah, my dad's an avid reader. Was he the one that got you spurred on? Yeah, I would say so. He um, he's he read a, like a lot of Dean Koontz, and so that's kind of like how I got started into reading horror. Um. And I think Dean Koontz is a good kind of like gateway into reading Stephen King. He's, I like him better. I like, I think his writing's a little bit more digestible. And his characters are, I don't want to say flawed because they're flawed, you know. But to the, like, I feel like his characters are more likable than some of Stephen King's characters. Where you're like, I just can't get behind this guy. It's usually like the main character that you're supposed to be rooting for. You're like, you're yeah. still I'm a like, scumbag. You're like you're, you still suck. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and I honestly, I can't even remember what like my first Stephen King novel was. I know my my dad had some, and he remember, like the age. I want to say high school because like I started or high school or college because I started reading Dean Koontz in high school. And then I think I kind of stumbled into some Stephen King after that. Uh, the ones that stuck out to me most, I think, are The Long Walk and The Running Man, which are his Richard Bachman novels. But still him, still his voice. I think those are a little bit more Dean Koontz-esque. 
and that the character like the characters are a little bit more likable oh they're kids too right in the long walk walk. okay yeah the long walk is very much like the hunger games to me i know i still need to read it i like it i it's one of my it's probably like i would say it's probably my favorite of his it's a novella right or is it a novel it isn't well i thought it was in a short story collection it probably is but like it's i don't know okay okay that thick it's like shorter than obviously his the uh, than it but um yeah it's uh, for those who don't know the long walk is about this raffle that goes on every year not raffle it's like um lottery kind of a lottery but it's like the um these boys can enter their name into this walking race essentially in order to win money for their families it's mostly like very desperate kids that so will it's do like it. hunger games and you can like add more of your names or more shares and stuff yeah okay and so um this one kid enters and you're you know following it through his point of view and basically the walk is you're walking i don't remember how many kids it starts out with 25 50 maybe something like that but you're walking until the last person's standing so and you have to like there's people fall like there's like guards following them so they can't go under a certain amount of time they only have like to stop they only have like things like five seconds to stop they have to stop for any reason and then they they get like i think i get like warnings and then they get killed or they just die from walking yeah do they like eat yeah okay Mm -hmm. we have to like eat and walk right wow it's very but it's very intense like it doesn't seem like it because it's like they're they're just walking walking. there's like a lot that happens there's a lot you know obviously it's like elements uh, elements, too and lord of the flies elements just a bunch of boys you know Mm. so that was one of the first ones you read one of the first ones i read okay Mm -hmm. and then the running man is similar in nature it's this dystopian world where if they need money they can go enter this game where they're hunted by an assassin essentially and they have to survive if they can survive a certain amount of time it's like a tv show oh they can survive a certain amount of time then they win the money Mm. or they die so Mm. I think those like kind of things are interesting because it's like hinges on sci-fi and horror yeah. and those genres like I really love a good, overlap. Yeah, I really love a good sci-fi horror. Yeah, I would say that that is probably my like sweet your niche spot. Yeah, for then you'll really horror. like um, Beast. You are, I think. Well, I'm excited to read it. Yeah, it it is good. Um, I think my first Stephen King. My introduction happened in college i like vividly remember i think i watched the shining Mm -hmm. at in like 2016 or 2017 and i was like oh my gosh this is like is really good and i was like i don't know why i like this like i don't like this kind of stuff what is happening and i like watched it by myself i remember like watching it with my back to the wall because i was like nothing can come behind me i'm Mm -hmm. so scared and then i decided like i have to read this book and i vividly remember like going to barnes and noble here in town and like finding it and I was so like oh my god like the horror (laughs) section I don't know where I am yeah and I bought it and I like hid it in my car (laughs) so my mom I was in college (laughs) and I was like I hit you knew me at this time yeah and I was hiding it in my car so my mom wouldn't see it and then I was like okay I'm gonna sneak my sneak my book in and book yeah so I read it and it I started reading it and I don't know. That one's pretty hefty for like a starter Stephen mm-hmm. King. Yeah. So it took me a, like probably a year to read it because I would just pick it up off and on. Um, the bulk of it I did one night when I couldn't sleep and I just went, went, went. They're very short chapters in The Shining for the yeah. most part. So once I got started, I was like really into it and I finished it very quickly. But it was like a lot of off and on. Um and then after that, like, I really, I really liked that book. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this book. And I decided to read like his newer one or like one of his newer ones. Mm-hmm. So I got, um, Elevation, 
which I think it was his newest in like 2018, yeah. which was like right when I started reading that. And I like hated it so much. <laughs> like, I hated what that book. Is this? Yeah. Maybe I would like it now, but I hated it. Um, and it was like, I didn't even realize it was a short story collection and it took me. Oh, is it? Yeah. And oh. I didn't realize until after I had already read so it and many. I'm like, what is going on? I don't <laughs> know. Cause I thought they all like went together <laughs> And I was like, why? So why? Yeah. So it was just so strange. So I didn't like that one. And so I took kind of a, not that long of a break. Mm-hmm. I took kind of a break from Stephen King. Um, and then I remember I was walking home from school one day and I had Dr. Sleep, like the sequel to The Shining, obviously. And I decided that I wanted to read that. Mm-hmm. And so I like got the audiobook and it was like listening and reading at the same time. And that one also took me a while to finish and I didn't really like it. So I was like, they can take a while. They to really finish. can. I definitely went through like a phase where I was reading a lot um, when I was working at the at GDC. Yeah. She would send me sometimes to the library to get coffee and then mm-hmm. be like, go check me out this book or see if they have this Stephen <laughs> yeah. King book. Yeah. I was always in that section. Yeah. Um, I think like, okay, so I read the, a book called uh, Desperation. Which is that big one? Yeah, yeah. I remember you had it on your desk. Yeah, it's not really a very known novel, but it's like it's probably the it's not as big as it, but it's is it short story? It's It's one long one. one Is it two parts? Maybe because I remember there's one that has the spine has the dog on it. Yeah, and it has like two. Maybe I'm. Maybe they just go together. They're different covers. Um, for it, but it's so. I it's cannot believe that is one book. It's huge, I know. and I can't believe I read all of it. <laughs> but I actually remember it, like, uh, like affecting me, like scaring me. Mm. Um, so it's like a story about several people who they're traveling along this desolated highway in Nevada, and one by one they're kind of getting abducted by this kind of crazy deputy from this mining town who just keeps like pulling them over and kidnapping them basically oh. and all putting him in like his jail interesting for no reason for no reason for well there's a reason obviously uh-huh but like that was a that villain was like oh like yeah i've never really, really heard that really disgusting villains never heard that story yeah i honestly i forget about it i kind of want to go back and reread it we can book club it we could that would be fun it's very long we could have a slash and slay book club we could let's put more things on our plate right <laughs> things to do we could be very subtle like just like yeah let us know if you want to do that because if you want to read like desperation with us it, we could be like okay for like three months yeah we'll honestly like just trudge through this book right you don't even have to just like a partner reading it we don't even have to talk about it but we could um it'd be, be fun yeah, I did not know about that one. I thought it was a short story this whole time, but wow. interesting. It's a very, very long story. I feel like I'm just going to add more like TBR. Right. <laughs> For those this. of you who aren't in the book talk, book tube community, TBR means to, to be, be read. read. So I'll probably just add a whole bunch of Stephen King. Um, so what made you like spur on like during that time? What do you think inspired you to keep reading? I don't know. I it's think like once you're in that headspace, you have to yeah, keep going it's, or it's else you're like, done. Yeah. yeah. It's like, but then once you're out of it, you're out of it. You can't. And I don't think I've been really back in it okay. since then. <laughs> um, so I don't know exactly what it was. There were some books that I started reading and never finished. Under the Dome, which is also a very thick Isn't book. Isn't that part of? Part of what? The series? It is it well. There is a there is a series. There's like a TV okay, series, okay. Um, but it is like a, a very. It's all one story, but it's a thick book oh. divided kind of into parts. I guess okay. like you could divide it into like separate books, like series. Okay. Um, but there were just so many characters that not he introduced. I was like, I don't care. I have not found a single character that I care about, and some of these characters are really awful, and I don't want to be in their head. For this long so couldn't i don't even know how far i got in that um and then i started dream catcher mm-hmm. that one's big right it's pretty it's pretty thick they're all pretty thick they are elevation um, is like this big though mm-hmm. and it took me forever because <laughs> it was that bad yes um i can't even tell you what dream catcher is about 
some sort of ancient it. curse or something. Probably I got, insensitive. I got th- probably. I got through the first couple of maybe first chapter and it was just it was like the it was too bleh, Okay. You know, like just it's too much. Too much. Too many words. Okay. Yeah. I will say that his like magic system, what's it called? A uh, ka it starts with a K. Oh. Ka. <laughs> ka. 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 I'm gonna look it up. Um a lot of the times he does tend to um be insensitive to mm. um Native American culture. Oh yeah. Especially with um his like magic. Um no, it's not that. Okay, Stephen King uh, metaverse. Okay, multiverse <laughs> is the macroverse, apparently. Oh. Um, are you talking about the giant? Are you talking about the giant turtle? Um, I thought there was like a ca, ca something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below because I don't know. But um, he has like a magic system that runs through. That's why all his novels are somewhat connected. Right. And yeah. So. Well, I always like, okay. So one of my favorite things is in 11-22-63. Did you read that one? I love, okay. love that How one. How he talks about deadlights. Yes. And he talks about, and they're like, there's a moment where they're, he's like in dairy or he's near dairy. Yes. And there's a mention Always of like. bad things happen in dairy. And he yeah. meets the, the it kid. Yes. 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 Yeah. That was so fun. I was like, this is literally like in Marvel movies. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> it was, like, that was yes. me. Because I was like, he met them from the <laughs> love. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I was freaking out. I love that book though. That one took me so so long to read but i loved it and i loved every it's, it's single just moment very, of it's it. very different from his it was literally like a lifetime mm-hmm. almost of someone's mm-hmm. life but it was so good yeah. that one might be like one of my favorites and um, i actually like liked the show i watched I didn't the show watch it. with james I franco liked it. yeah i just like i have this picture of it in my head and it's not james and it's franco. like so perfect and i don't ever want it yeah it's not james franco yeah but um i feel like during uh, that one's one more recent that i read of his mm-hmm. um i started in the pandemic actually i didn't have a job so you i love. yeah i did best time of my life <laughs> um i didn't have a job and i just had like a few school classes i was working on so i had a lot of time to read and i got really into uh like book tube like mm-hmm. more so than I had in years and I really like did not read through college just because I literally did Didn't not have time have any time in my day to read I'd read sometimes at night but not really and I just wasn't really into reading at that time so I started watching like book tube a lot and especially like Noel Gallagher if you really want to like get inspired to read especially Stephen King watch her like early vlogs and stuff and she was also like doing English classes like I was. Mm-hmm. So I was very like inspired by her reading. And she read like, I think she did like a reading vlog, reading Pet Cemetery. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that video, I was like, I have to read this book right now. So I like during the pandemic, like got my mask and was scouring the city for yeah. Pet Cemetery to like find a, a copy of it. Cause you couldn't really like go to Barnes and Noble. So I ended up getting a copy of that and I read it so fast and I was like, this is amazing. And I did some um audiobook of it and mm-hmm. it's actually read by michael c hall who's like oh, really? dexter yeah and it was such a good audiobook so i loved that one and then immediately i went on thrift books and i ordered like a whole bunch so i mm-hmm. ordered um misery mm-hmm. um and then i had already had on writing by stephen king mm-hmm. i'm looking at like all the order that i read these in so i can remember because it's just like i can just imagine you know when yeah. you read a book and you're like this is my time of love right. in my life i was oh, here yeah. and yeah mm-hmm. so that's how i was like, like misery i think i was directing a show and i read that one so fast like backstage like i was mm-hmm. like i don't care i just need to f- <laughs> read this book as soon as possible and i loved it i love that feeling yeah and when you're like so excited good. to read you're like oh my book yes you're excited it's to so read. hard to like actually what the only like instagram reel of mine that's ever gone like been successful was like how depressing it is to not feel that mm-hmm. like as an adult as right. often we be like yeah same and i'm just like really sad in it. I'm like, <laughs> yay um that's what gets the likes yeah but i kind of went crazy from there and just like tried to read as much stephen king stuff. as i could and i really like 
jumped around. Like I'm looking on this website on like all the books that I read and like I read on writing, which was the first Stephen King book I actually cried to, which is a memoir. It is such a good book. It is so and it's good. If you're a writer, it's if very you're creative inspiring. at yeah, all. Yeah. It is so inspiring and beautiful. Like so I want to reread it. It's another one I want to reread. I think I did the audiobook some too. Like I did half and half and he reads it. So it was like Aww. I'm hanging out with Stephen King and he's talking about his <laughs> life. Like it was so sweet. Yeah. And then immediately after that I read Carrie because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to mm-hmm. read about his, you know, first book. And then um, it looks like I switched to a newer one. So I read The Outsider. Mm-hmm. And then I went like back and like, I can, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, I flip back and forth a lot. Um, the only one I really reread is The Shining. And I've mm-hmm. reread that one like twice, two or three times. Um, I think I've only reread The Walk, The Long Walk. The Long Walk. Mm-hmm. I, I think I've only read that twice. I have like picked, Picked and choosed. Pick and chose. Pick and chose. Picked and chose. Picked and chose. I have selected randomly. <laughs> I've randomly selected a few like short stories to read from different collections. Mm-hmm. Like I really wanted to watch Children of the Corn, but I wanted to read it first. This was like also during the pandemic. I forgot to mention like when we had time. Yeah. I would just like re and we were really getting into movies and really enjoying horror. And so I would like read the book as fast as I could. And they'd be like, okay, movie night. We get to watch the <laughs> adaptation because there's always one for Stephen oh, yeah. King. And so that like I really wanted to watch Children of the Corn. So we read it together. I really wanted to watch Gerald's Game. So I read it. And Shawshank Redemption. So I read it. And um, like those aren't necessarily – like Shawshank Redemption is part of the uh, fourth – the four seasons? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Different seasons. It's called Different Seasons. Yeah. And it's that one, Apt Pupil – the body and the breathing method, mm-hmm. which um, those are, that was really good. A really good short story collection. I would highly recommend that one, especially the body was really sweet. Have you read that one? Uh, I have read the body. Mm-hmm. And then I'll, of course seen the movie stand by me. What's it called? Oh, stand by me. Yeah. Um, yes. I read, um, I have a couple of his have bizarre bad dreams I don't think I've read. I don't think I've read it. Um, then I have Four Past Midnight, and that is really good. It has the Langoliers. Um, let me see, the Langoliers Library Policeman, which I do not. That's recommend. the one that was rough for you, right? It was so rough. The Breathing Method was rough for me. It was ugh. Secret Window, Secret Garden. Which have you seen that movie? Secret Window, Johnny Depp. You should watch it. You should watch it. And then the Sun Dog that's the four the four four past midnight okay that's short story collection. yeah Mm -hmm. okay i really liked um i don't know if this one did this but in the different seasons it was like um summer or spring with shawshank redemption because it's like renewed life second chance um and then apt pupil was fall i think because it was like um during school time the body was like summer Mm -hmm. and then um some i might be getting these mixed up but it was all it always had something to do with it like summer youth forever yeah eternal friendship summer and then winter was like the breathing method and it took it was really dark and really like cold like just Mm -hmm. physically cold and everything so i did like the um did that one have anything like that like divided into times or Um, four past midnight like anything like that i don't I probably was. <laughs> probably. Was I'd probably have to go ago, sure. reevaluate, but I'm sure there was I'm sure there was some sort of meaning behind it. I feel like he has quite a few short story collections mm-hmm. that I just don't even realize are, oh, are yeah. there. But oh yeah. He has a he has a lot of short stories, a lot of novellas. Yeah. Um most recently I've read um I haven't read his most recent fairy tale. I have not read that. I'm really excited for his new one, though. Holly? Holly, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm really excited for that one. Is that connected to anything, or is it just a standalone? I think it's... No, I, I think it's standalone, and it's, um like, takes place during the pandemic a little bit, mm-hmm. I think. So I think that should be interesting. It also seems like Haunted House, which sounds really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I have read Later, which came out in 2022. Later? Later, which is one of his, um like, noir detective novels. Oh, okay. But I had never read any of those. It's like the... Did you have it on the table? Like the Colorado one? Colorado one? Is it... 
Joyride, I mean. Joylands? Joylands. Like that one? Yeah, it's like the, it's like that. Like okay. noir uh-huh. detective. Um, and it's about this like kid who his mom is, um, girlfriend, has a girlfriend and she's a detective and she and him like are really good friends and he sees dead people. Mm -hmm. And so he's a little like skittish, but he's like not too, he's just like, yeah, I see dead people, whatever. Um, and then all the stuff happens and like he goes on a journey with his girl, his mom's girlfriend who's like drunk and Mm -hmm. then he's like with the mob or something. I don't know. A lot of stuff happens. It's so weird, but I read it in like one day later. later. Oh, and it sounds like a movie that I, I like saw part of recently, but hmm. no, it was, it's pretty short, only like 264 pages. Mm-hmm. And, um, it was good. I just read it in like, I think I audio booked it too, honestly. And I just did it while I was cleaning one day and yeah. I was like, Oh, it's over. Like, it was like okay. one of those where I like looked and I was like, did I skip yeah. some of this? Because it was really short. Um, but I think it was really good. I just was surprised to find that there was like still some paranormal mm-hmm. aspects to it. I Even think he can't I, stay away. Can't yeah, stay he away really from can't. It. But that was the same with like that Riley Sager book. I, which yeah. is the only Riley Sager book I've ever read, mm-hmm. the House Across the Lake or uh, something like that. And I was like, wait, I thought this was just thriller. Like yeah. I thought it was, this was just thriller. But it was interesting to be like, oh, okay. Um, and then I just actually most recently read Billy Summers mm-hmm. by him, which was his book in 2021. Yeah, that came out. And that one was super good. I, I think I already talked about it a little bit. It was like very like very. Yeah. So road trippy. I think it's a really good summer book if you want a long summer read. Okay. Um, what's your most recent one that you read? Can you remember? Um, no. To no. be honest, I really cannot remember what the most recent one I read was. Yeah, um, this cannot be all the ones I've read because. Oh, wait. No, there it is. We both read it at the same time. We did. We're Coincidentally. Both, we were both audiobooking it. And that was interesting. Ooh. That was a journey, man. We could do, we should probably do a whole podcast episode about. We can do a whole podcast episode. About on it, the adaptions, the TV movie, everything. everything. Yeah. Did you finish it? Like the very, I don't think you finished like the last little bit, but you read it. I didn't. I didn't it's finish fine. the very, very end because I knew what happened already. Mm-hmm. Um, From, I mean, I knew just. Just knew. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was kind of over at that point. Oh, I was over it. Had it had been weeks. I was over it. Months, probably. Really? I read it really quickly because I was at a job where I could literally just, I did not have to speak to another soul all mm-hmm. day. And so I just put on my AirPods and yeah. listened, listened, listened. Um, and so I finished it really quickly. But even then, I like listened to it in three days, maybe. And I was like, oh, three oh, days. My, my God. I need to take breaks. I was like, <sighs> okay i get it you know like, i, I get was so it there's a it. clown um i was actually listening to a book podcast i started listening to they're new and it's called oh gosh i don't know what it's called <laughs> wow um, great plug emily it's called hold it's called it's with sarah caroli and des reads on instagram and i watched their youtube bookmarked Bookmark with Sarah and Des, and they were talking about like just a sidebar on their thing was like if you read a certain amount of a book, like if you don't finish it, do you count it towards like your reading goal mm-hmm. of the year? Or like because you like you read it and like yeah. you decided like I don't like this. Like can you I still? still count <laughs> I still I would count it if, if it was if like it's over halfway. If it's over, I think mine would have to be seventy five percent, and then I would be like, okay, I read it. If I know if I if it's if it, for me, if it's over halfway and if I look up the ending, how it ended and just read a summary. Then you're like, okay. Okay. I got but it. But I never like want to do that. I usually yeah. want usually to finish. If, well, to me, if I don't want to finish it, I don't, I'm done. I don't care about yeah. it anymore. I'm not really going to look up and see what happened. Because yeah. obviously I didn't care, care enough, enough to finish. To finish then it. I don't There's care no how the ending is. Yeah. So yeah, I'm the same way. Anyway, that was a sidebar. Glad we agree. Glad we agree, but let us know if you want to do a full podcast about it. It could be like three podcast episodes. Yeah, honestly. I'm kind of sad because I'm looking back at... Okay, the, that's not true. I read a lot of Stephen King last year too. But it was actually... No, it was just those combined... The short story. But I counted it as separate ones on my mm-hmm. like Goodreads because I read Shawshank Redemption the year before, mm-hmm. which is part of that. Um, and then I read later. Then I read Salem's Lot. 
in October oh, yeah. this year, which yeah, was you read perfect. It, recently, it was yeah. so good. Mm-hmm. It was actually, yeah, I was surprised by that one, honestly. Wait, did you borrow that one from me? Mm-mm. Oh. Um, but you told me to read it, so I did. And I actually listened to LT's Theory of Pets, which is a short story. And then I finished 11 to 11-22-63, and that's all I did last year. And then the only Stephen King I've read this whole year is Billy Summers. Mm-hmm. So. Slacking. I know. <laughs> Me too. I'm really not <laughs> in a mood, read, though. Just, yeah. Which is sad. Really? Yes, gotta, I, I just gotta be in a mood. I need, I do feel like I want to read his more later stuff. Yeah. Just to get a feel for maybe how he's changed. Yeah. If he has. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I actually read 11, 22, 63 in Billy Summers, which I, they, they get compared a lot mm-hmm. and they say it's like the most romantic ones mm-hmm. of all of them, which 11, 22, yeah. 63 was really romantic, yeah, it is. It's um, really sweet. which I really liked. Um, well, do you want to go through our lists of what we've read and slash them or slay them? Yeah. We'll rapid fire. Okay. I'll do my, I'll try to do my ranking. Your ranking? I don't know, like 10. A one. Oh, okay. Or like this is my top, whatever. I don't know how I many know this I, is. I just I put have mine. I put mine in order of like when they came out, and then okay. So this is not the order that I read them. Okay. So, uh, Carrie, slay, ding, slay. Me too. I read it too. Very S- slay. Very slay. Good starter. Yes. Salem's Lot. Slay. Slay. I read that one too. The Long Walk. Slay. Running Man. Slay. <laughs> The body, slay, slay. I read that one. <laughs> Very slay. Pet cemetery, slay. slay. I love that one. Don't spoil it for people. I got it spoiled Who? for me. Oh, Who did it? We talked about this. I was like, <laughs> it was an accident. I should have uh, known. It's like culture. <laughs> like everybody knows that. But yeah. I'm just. I'm always like, huh. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. The talisman. Uh... It's like I'm in the middle of the road. Mid sleigh. Mid sleigh. Walking. It. No. This is difficult. Because I, I, I'm going to have to slash it. I think I'm going to have to slash it too. Well, oh, it's so hard because like half of it is a sleigh. Half of it's a sleigh. And then the other half is like, cut it. But it's kind of intermingled slash and yes, sleigh. It's yes, intermingled yes. slash and sleigh. Just like our show. If you like pull out half, that's yeah. like this half is good. The other half. But this part's good. This you say our show good, is half slash. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I would agree. Just kidding. We're, we hit like 50% of the right. mark, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That kind of makes me sad. Because like, I, like, I love, I the, love story. the characters. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the, story. I love the movies, honestly. Yeah. All of them. Even the TV movie. Um, Especially the TV movie. So maybe story, slay this one in particular slash concept awesome yes execution we could have done better mm-hmm. steven mm-hmm. um the dark half slash i mean slay <laughs> slay nice. the langoliers oh does the langoliers library policeman secret window the sun dog that's four past midnight four past midnight overall i'm gonna slay it but I would slash library, library policeman. Policeman. get the f out of here. Couldn't <laughs> it handle was it. Horrible. Okay. Gerald's game, slay. slay. Rose matter. I feel like one? I read that. It's um, abusive husband. And so her this rose, she has a very very abusive husband. He's like yes. a police officer. And he's yes. very abusive, and like sadistic abusive. Like, uh huh. And she runs. She gets away from him. And she, like, starts her life away. She just, like, meets this other man. She starts doing audiobooks, like, cover, like, um, voiceovers. Okay. And she gets this, pa- she finds this painting that has this depiction, like, this, like, other land kind of in it. And she, it kind of starts to come to life. Okay. Is this and a short story? No, it's, it's a full book. Okay, I didn't read this. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I would slay it. Desperation. I want to reread it, but mm-hmm. from my memory of it actually scaring me, I'm going to slay it. On writing, slay. slay. From a Buick 8. I know I read this. Short stories? No, it's not. <sighs> no. it's But it is shorter. It's a shorter one. Okay. Um, I can't remember too much about it, 
So sorry, I'm going to slash it. I just didn't read that one because I was like, I already read Christine. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> enough about cars. I don't need another car book. Um, Cell. I'm going to slash it. Ooh. It was like kind of a zombie-esque. Okay. Like if you use your cell phone, you become a zombie. Ooh. And That's what happens in real life. There was stuff. It just it was... Okay. It annoyed, a lot of it annoyed me, I remember. Joyland, I'm going to slay it. And Mr. Mercedes, I'm going to slay it. Now, that's a series, and I didn't read the second one. Um, but the first, the Mr. Mercedes, that's very good. Okay. So, that's my list. That's all yours? Mm-hmm. Okay. You ever read The Shining? I haven't. <laughs> oh, what? Why are I we doing this not. episode? <laughs> I You're crazy. Not read the Shining. Okay, well then I'll start with mine. The Shining. Mm-hmm. Slay. Slay. Elevation slash. <laughs> Maybe I should give it another try, but I don't know. I don't know what. Anyway, Doctor Sleep. Slay. I did like it in the end. Pet Cemetery. We did that. Misery. Did we do that? I haven't read it. What? Slay. <laughs> I love that book so much. I slay much. the movie. The Outsider. Um. Yes. Slay. I have to think of that. Um, Cycle the Werewolf, which is a nice little mm-hmm. short story that we read, was really cool. Slay. It takes you through the whole calendar oh. of this little town. And it's like January, February. And there's a werewolf that comes every mm. yeah every month. And it was really cool. Christine. Big Slay. One of my favorites, I think, just because of the characters were so endearing and sweet. And they're like high school. And yeah, I just really like that one. Um I also think the writing was more concise, mm-hmm. even though it was a very long book. The writing was more concise and the characters were, you really did root for the characters. Even yeah. the like antagonist, you still had empathy for him. And that's something that you don't really get in most Stephen King books. Mm-hmm. Um, Children of the Corn is part of a short story collection, which I haven't, I think it's part of Night. Night? Full night, no star. No night, no. night, 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 something. Night, night, night. It has the hand like night, this. Night, Do you know what I'm talking about? It has night. the eyeball on the hand. Is the cover? Night. Let's see. I'll click on it. Night changes. Moon and when the night changes. Um, night shift. Night shift. The night shift. <laughs> <laughs> um, night shift. Children of the Corn. Slay. And I think I actually did read Graveyard Shift. That is in that one too. Mm-hmm. Slash. It's the too rats. many rats. Yes. <laughs> I did not like that one. It was pretty much that whole Guillermo del Toro episode of mm-hmm. that newest with the rats yes. and the grave robbers. Yeah. That was gross. Um... Shawshank Redemption, Slay. 1922, Slay. Oh, I did, wa- I did, I did read that one as well. Slay, Slay. 2? Okay. Mm-hmm. The Mist. Slay, except the main guy. It was re- kind of hard because he really sucked. Mm-hmm. Um, different seasons. Overall, Slay. The Breathing Method. Watch out. Mm-hmm. Later, Slay. Salem's Lot, we did that one. Uh, Billy Summer, Slay. Nice. That's all of them. Nice. How I many? So how many ones. have you read? Twenty six, including Five, one reread. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty one, twenty two, because I didn't read all of them. Mm. Ooh, I guess you can combine those short stories, but I counted them as separate. Yeah, me too. Because they, they are they, separate. They, they they exist on their own. They're long. Yes, they are, they long. are very long, and they kind of exist on their own. Yeah. Um. But honestly, like, if you are looking to get into Stephen King, Mm -hmm. I would just know that you have to be in... You have to build up a certain... You do have to kind of build up stamina. You have to build up reading stamina, and you have to build up, like, just, like, a tolerance to his writing. I don't know. He does, like, and that's something we didn't really talk about, while he, especially in his past, he, now he's, like, such an advocate and very, like aware i guess even though some of the things he said in billy summers i was like i thought (laughs) i thought we were past this i thought like why do you have to talk about her boobs like why Mm -hmm. um he's better now (laughs) but it used to be a lot of like insensitive things to like native americans especially like the shining too Mm -hmm. like talking about like native 
Americans in Colorado and things like that, that he had nobody to talk about unless it was like to bring awareness to it, which he didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, I, ca- I can't think of an actual instance, but you know, talking about like dream catchers and like the lore that he doesn't really know about or yeah. is part of him in any way. Um, and then he does tend to talk about women in while a lot of the times his, his characters are from a male POV and they are degrading towards women, which can be part of the horror yeah. of the way men were like brought up to think and the way they think and view the world, mm-hmm. which is horrifying to think about. Yeah. And but part it's like, of making a horrible character horrible. What was that? Because like, was, was it because of them or is it because of Stephen King? Right. But then also like, he'll even be doing a woman's POV and she'll be like, my nipples hurt. And like, yeah. why, why? Like, why do your nipples hurt? Like, why are you, are you okay? Right like, why are you thinking about that? Like, right. that's never in this, in crossed this. my mind. Even if they did, like, yeah. I wouldn't be like, mm. in the midst of like me, almost you know, dying, almost dying. I'm be like, oh, my nipples, my are, nipples are aching. <laughs> my nipples ache as I saw him across the room. Like, no, never had that happen. Try not to die. How about that? How about we do Mm -hmm. that one? Mm -hmm. So you have to... Niche yourself in. He's been trying... He's been... They've been trying to cancel him forever. I think he's going to stick around. Yeah. You have to ease yourself in. I really highly recommend Carrie. Starting off with Carrie. Mm -hmm. Although it is from a women's perspective and dealing with a very sensitive women's topic. I think if somehow he hits a nail on the head, I don't know. He managed it. I I would recommend that or misery. Those are very digestible, Mm -hmm. um, concise, short. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You do have to really, um, build up stamina, like I said, and be in a mindset that you really have to focus. You have to be in the mood. So if you gotta be in the mood, and if you're yeah. not in the mood, ju- if you're like reading and then you're not in the mood, just set it down. It's fine. Yeah, it is. It is good to close his books, and even like for example, eleven twenty two sixty three, which is probably my favorite. Probably is my favorite. It took me a year to read because it's, just sometimes I wasn't well, in it's the also mood. So freaking big. It is very long. I think it was almost a I thousand. Have it. Pages. I have it over there. And yeah. It's- monster yeah i couldn't carry that one around with me yeah that was another thing like i couldn't just take it with me to read i know i felt like the desperation like it was like i couldn't i couldn't carry this yeah i think you just left it at i did the office yeah i wouldn't read it at home yeah Yeah. anyway that's my recommendation if you really want to start getting into it or audiobooks they're really good the audiobooks are good it's always good because you can just do something else while you're doing it so um but i do want to know what stephen king character i am i do too I'm and we're gonna find I'm out. I'm scared. You're scared. Is so we're doing a BuzzFeed quiz. Um, everyone has a Stephen King character who matches their personality. Here's yours. So we're gonna take this quiz and we're gonna find out who we are. Okay. So choose your choose favorite. favorite candy. Why is my thing not working? Choose your favorite candy to get while trick or treating. Well, I don't trick or treat. I just buy it for myself. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. So the options are Starburst, M and M's, Snickers, Skittles, Reese's, or Milky Ways. Ugh, Milky Ways. Never slay. I mean, slash. <laughs> I hate those. Ooh, Skittles are always good. Yeah, but I'm going with. You don't want can- like I don't. I de- it just said Skittles are good. You don't want those <laughs> fruit candy on Halloween. Sucks. I'm going with Reese's. Cups. Me too. What if we're the same? Choose the word that describes your personality the best. Me and my sister kind. used to be obsessed with doing Optimistic. BuzzFeed quizzes. Easy going, realistic, intelligent, intelligent funny. funny. Um, we used to be obsessed with doing these. And every time that they'd be like, choose the thing, we'd be like, okay, here. And we'd like hand the phone and let them pick for us. Mm-hmm. So uh, will you pick for me and I'll pick for you? Yes. Um, hmm. I want to say kind, but you're just so ridiculously easy going. <laughs> and I was going to say, oh, this is hard. Oh, I intelligent, funny. All you're these. all of these too. <laughs> I'm not optimistic. Don't lie. I know you're not. But I'm not really either. I can't be, but I'm more, I'm be. more on the realistic side. My computer's not working very well. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm just trying to figure out which one you are more of. Yeah. I mean, you are all these things, but I think like you, you are very, very kind. I was going to say kind for you. <laughs> we can't do the same. Oh, okay. So pick easygoing for me. Okay. But you're more kind than easygoing. 
Am I? Because you'll stand up for somebody. Will I? Okay, I'll just say easy going then. What, but you do it for yourself so you could probably. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, choose a horror movie poster that gives you the heebie jeebies. The Saw poster. Sweet Alice. Sweet Alice. Um, my computer. Is Brain working. Dead. Picture the Evil Dead. Picture the Descent. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Ooh. I just noticed those are girls. I thought it was just a skull. What do you mean? In the Descent, there's two girls in the picture. In the poster. Do you see that? Oh. Did you just notice that too? <laughs> my favorite movie and I oh my gosh. just now noticed that. Yes. Um, and then Us. Us. Us does freak me out. Yeah, I do hate that. I mean, Saw is just like a hand. Okay, it's a hand. The brain dead one just looks silly. Alice Sweet Alice kind of gives me the heebie jeebies. It does, but it does a little bit. But I'm going to go with Us for me. Okay, I'm doing Alice Sweet Alice. Choose the color that best matches your aura. Hold on, now my laptop's not working. Mine, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the internet. It's a haunted. It's a haunted p- web page. Does it keep like stopping? Yeah. Okay, I picked it. Too. I think. Oh no, it picked us for me. Wait, what if we're using the same link? So it's like, could that be it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How would that even it, happen? That's though? so weird. Okay, let me just try again on okay. this. I'm gonna try a different link. Okay, I think we got it figured out. Moving on to the next question. Choose the color that best matches your aura. Red, blue, green, purple, orange, black. I think you should choose mine. I should choose yours. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to choose. <laughs> this is how I, I feel. This is like a way you like supposed to like close your eyes or multiple times or something and look at something. Or look at your hand and that's supposed to give your aura. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's pink. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick... Oh, it's either blue or purple for you. But I think blue because you're a calming presence. You are the sky. You are beautiful. Mm. You are like a part of everything in a way. You know, everything's a little blue. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pick blue because you are just all encompassing. Thank you. I was either going to pick purple for you or black. I hate purple. Okay, well, I'll pick black because you're like a black cat. You have black cat energy. And Mama is a cat purring in my lap exactly it loves me okay i'm black i'm blue okay choose a novel that was absolutely not written by stephen king harry potter charlotte's web where the wild things are good night moon the little prince or the giving tree oh hmm it's either harry potter or good night moon mine is either harry potter or charlotte's web um I'm going to go with... You go Good Night Moon, I'll go Charlotte's Web, so that we're not the same. Nobody Harry Potter? Nobody Harry Potter. Okay, Good Night Moon. Charlotte's Web. Choose an everyday thing that is wildly creepy for no reason. A big uncovered window at night, a group of children singing, an empty playground, a Ouija board sitting alone on a table, a cat meowing at nothing, a forest. That's it. I'm going to have to go with a big uncovered window at night, I think. That is creepy, but... um. I'm going to go with, I wish it was an empty playground at night. Because I feel like in the daytime it's not as weird, creepy. Well, just night? imagine at night. Okay. So I'm going to go with I empty. think it's implied. I'm going to go an empty playground. Okay. And finally, choose your favorite horror villain. Mm-hmm. Candyman from Candyman. Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. Freddy Krueger. The Xenomorph from Alien. Ghostface or Leatherface. Candyman. Can you man can? I'm going with the xenomorph. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Who are you? Carrie. I'm Danny Torrance. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let me read my description. Yes, yes. I'm Carrie White from Carrie. On the outside, you are an absolute introvert, but when people get to know you, they realize there's some fire in there. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> Okay, what about you? I am Danny Torrance from The Shining. You You're love. truly a special individual gifted with unique talents. K okay, type four. Also, you grew up you grew up to be Ewan McGregor, so congratulations. Does it really say that? <laughs> Thank you. You're Ewan McGregor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, BuzzFeed. Thank you. Uh, BuzzFeed is probably like the least qualified to ever do a quiz. Exactly. They suck at quizzes. They suck. But uh, I take my character. I'll take mine too. Although I don't know who else I'd want to be. I mean Carrie. That's Carrie's it. a queen. Yeah. Carrie is a queen purring in my lap. 
because you love me. Anyways. Setting everything on fire. <laughs> anyway, she is like karma. She, she is. Karma. Carrie is literally karma. That was fun. I want to like take a whole bunch now. I like quizzes. I do too. I like to learn about myself. I like to put myself in boxes. I, I like, I'm telling you, we loved BuzzFeed quizzes. Like we would just keep looking. I would do them quizzes. at work all the time. Yeah. I loved those. And then I'd be like, mm, not right. And I'd do it again <laughs> because they really aren't. Okay. They aren't. They're like who? I'll make a quiz and it'll be great. I'll tell you it'll who be I very am. very accurate. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm really glad that we finally talked about Stephen King, though, because it's a long time coming. He is very like comfort for me because he really did like spur my love Mm -hmm. for reading. Yeah. Like my my renaissance, my reading renaissance. I do owe to Stephen King for sure. And like just weird and realizing that like he he definitely formed like the types of type of reading I like today. Yeah. Because it's not anything that I would ever have picked and then especially in the pandemic when i started like reading that i was like oh i like horror and i like really weird books Mm -hmm. and so yeah the rest is history literally well i agree and uh i i like that you can like stephen king but you don't have to like everything he does you probably won't because there's like 80 and you don't have to six novels i'm sure there's some like stephen king snobs out there that are like you don't like this book blah 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 but like you don't have to like all of his books we haven't read everybody's most famous though everyone's most popular most favorite everyone's favorite the most popular favorite of his is the stand oh yeah my dad uh, my dad really likes that book see everybody really likes it now my problem is i have the most beautiful copy Mm -hmm. and i love it so much i don't even want to touch it Mm -hmm. however now he came out with a re-release in 2012 i think with additional content oh. so if i want to read it, i have to get like the other a book one, or yeah. like read on my kindle which is mm-hmm. no big deal but it's like i don't want that one i want my pretty yeah one. and the new show came out too so yeah oh yeah lots to still read yeah i'll never get through it all mm-hmm. but oh well i can try all we can do is try i'll try <laughs> um but yeah yeah we hope you guys enjoyed this episode all about mr stephen king i hope you watch this if you're yeah. watching this, Stephen King, yeah, I love you. I love you, Stephen King. <laughs> I'm going to come visit your house. <laughs> I'll try not to run you over. <laughs> if you don't know the lore, he got run over. Anyway. <laughs> he did. Um, yeah. That was triggering. Too soon, Emily. Sorry. Follow us on Instagram at slash and say pod, on TikTok slash and say pod, Twitter slash and say pod, YouTube, YouTube slash, 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 slash and say pod. pod. Subscribe, subscribe, like, comment. comment. And see you next time. See you next time. Love you guys. Love you, guys. Love you Stephen King. Love Bye. you, Stephen. Bye. <laughs> Can you put that at the end, please? <laughs>